Welcome back. Question five is in three parts. So let's start with the very first. Particle P of mass M is projected vertically upward and moves under gravity. There is a resistive force of magnitude 2 mv where v meters per second is the speed of P at time t seconds after projection. So this first part is find an expression for V in terms of T or P is moving up. Okay, so let's get to it. To know what happens to the particle P, let's let's start with deciding which direction is positive. So let's consider going up as positive. And if that is so, looking at the particle P, its weight is acting vertically downwards. And if it's moving up, and there is a resistive force of magnitude 2 mv acting. That force is also acting against the direction of motion. That's why it's a resistive force. So we have that. So the net force in the direction of motion should be equal to the forces that are in the direction of motion, where there is none in this case, minus the forces that are against the direction of motion. So we have Great. Now there's M running through, we can do all of that and rewrite this equation as Remember, A is a rate of change of velocity with time. So that would mean Now let's separate variables as usual and solve this equation. Now, since you are considering the particle moving upward, this velocity would always be greater than or equal to zero. And so the argument of this log will never be negative. There's no need to have absolute values. Great. Now, this is a good time to use the given initial conditions because at t equals zero, the particle had a speed of 20 meters per second. And that's positive because it's going up. Now, let's rewrite the equation and replace our arbitrary constant by its appropriate value as we need an equation that has v in terms of t so in this case we need to make v the subject of this equation that we have now taking the analog of both sides we can rewrite this as or So this is the equation that relates V and T. V equals 25 e to the power negative 2T minus 5. Or if you factor it out, well, that's fine. Now for two marks, we need an expression that relates x and t while the particle is still moving up. Remember earlier, we have v as a function of t as 25 e to the power negative 2t minus 5. And the differential of x with respect to t gives us velocity. So and this will mean At the beginning, the particle was at a point of projection, and that implies that Now let's substitute the value of our constant of integration back into the x equation
So x is equals to 25 over 2 multiplied by the expression 1 minus e to the power negative 2t all minus 5t. The third part of this problem wants us to calculate correct to three significant figures the greatest height above or reached by p. Now to find the greatest height if this particle was going up, we need to determine at what point its velocity in the upward direction became zero. That will indicate how far it goes before it starts to fall back to the ground. So thankfully we have a velocity equation and that will mean So at t equals half of log 5, the particle's upward velocity becomes 0. And we can determine the value of x at that time, and that should be the greatest height above or reached by the particle p. Therefore, 